back everybody. We are back today with MotoGP 22. I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my content already. If you do subscribe, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support. Don't forget to press that bell so you get notified of any of my videos as they drop onto the channel. So yes, we are back today with, uh, with MotoGP 22. I believe it's the second to last round of our Moto3 season. We've already tied up the Moto3 World Championship and the uh, the team championship as well, which we got in the last video, which was uh, which was pretty good. Um, we also have our contract ready for Moto2 next season in the Monster VR46 Yamaha, uh, Yamaha Junior Camp or something like that, I think it's called. So uh, yeah, that's interesting, nice move to Moto2. Uh, we're back in the Yamaha garage as well, so hopefully that means we can get that all important factory Yamaha ride for our Moto GP season. But hopefully we can get a decent result around Malaysia. We will continue with our format from the last Moto GP video. Uh, so let's jump straight into our main menu of our career here and find out how we're gonna get around this or how we're gonna do around this circuit for this weekend Grand Prix. Right now, so here we are, we are at our main menu. We don't have anything to do with our contract, our staff management, or our HQ. We've got two weeks until we get that all important last upgrade, which we should get just as we arrive in Valencia, which would be quite cool. So we will finish the season with a fully customized, uh, a fully customized bike, which is, uh, which is pretty handy. So for now, we're gonna jump straight into Malaysia. For the Malaysian Grand Prix, we're only gonna go for the race. Luckily, it's not raining. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be cloudy weather, that's not too much to worry about. Hopefully it might also be a little bit better on tyres, because if uh, memory serves me cor correctly, the Malaysian morning, track MotoGP fans from the is quite heavy the on tyres. So obviously we are starting from the back of the grid, the we are just going to have a quick look at what tyres are the track, uh, look like it technicians, rain. so they reckon we should go for a hard rear, I thought that might be the case. Uh, yeah, so just having a look at quick the tires to what the, the, uh, the engineers reckon we should use for this Grand Prix. We're going to stick... He just said medium front hard rear as well, so that's not a surprise. Uh, yeah, we're going to stick to our normal uh, one and four uh, engine braking and uh, power mapping at three. Obviously, development tests, we haven't done any of those, but we're not that bothered. Um, we've obviously got the last upgrade coming, so it doesn't really matter. We're at the back of the grid. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into the race and see how we can get on around here. So a lot of them going for a medium front and definitely hard rears. There's a couple of, well, quite a few hard hards, actually. A soft rear from Davide Minos, I don't think that's going to work. Ivan Ortola, soft, soft. A lot of hard fronts as well, so that could be interesting. Okay, I was going to go with, the, oh, obviously we went with the medium because that's what our, uh, that's what our engineers reckon to use. I can see why people go for the hard, but I think we're going to uh, benefit. What the hell? What's going on with the warm-up lap? That's a little strange. Okay, we'll see if that's uh, we'll see if that's something for the race, shall we? Whether people are going to crash. Different one. Bit of a bug there, I'm assuming. Let's uh, let's jump straight into this Grand Prix and see how we can get on. Riders have completed their warm-up lap and are lined up on the Sepang grid, ready for the off. Okay. Clutch in, revs up. As the lights go out, we start our Malaysian Grand Prix. Not a good start from the riders in front of us. We're going to be right with them as we come down the start finish straight here. We're going to try and hang it round the outside of a couple of these riders. Hopefully we don't get tagged. Someone's gone down. Oh, we're right in the middle of the pack here now. Try and get out the back and go around the outside. These guys are tossing in front of us, so we're gonna try and capitalise on that. Not bad work through there. Right, I'm gonna stick to power map at three just while we get around these first couple of corners here. A little bit wide there. Gives me a good line for this corner though. 
get right behind our teammate. Whoa! Sorry. A little bit more pace then on our thought. I try and get to the inside here as well. I'm just going to try and break a little bit later than a couple of these riders and nick that inside line. Oh, John with the hitting my rear tyre. Pushed us offline horrendously there. Because he tagged my rear wheel. Go down the bat up in two so I can see the red light of our petrol flashing. Oh, hello, where are you stopping? Oh, front wheel. Don't tag me, don't tag me. Right, well, Pam up in three down here, just because I could see the pace that Gerard Messia had on me there. So we're going to switch it down to Pam in two, just as we come into what I'm assuming is going to be the braking zone. Gerard Messia's up the inside. Pam up in three down the main straight. We're going to try and get in behind Morelia here. Switch that down to Pam up in two when we put the slipstream. Oh, what's he doing? I honestly thought we were going to go down as well, eh? I guess this is the only thing when you don't qualify. You get caught up in everybody else's mistakes. Oh. Trying a little bit too hard now. Just need to get into a little bit of a rhythm here. Get on them curves. There's a gap forming to 14th here. Hopefully, we can drag myself and my teammate. Oh, a couple more riders gone down. Where the hell am I going? I've got. Slightly put off by the uh, the rider that was break dancing in the middle of the track there. Teammates making a move. We're up into the points contention. John but V going for a bit of a different line as we do as well. Right, we don't get blocked by our teammate, which is good. We are in power map in three and gaining on the guys in front. Hopefully we can get a decent, decent stop ready for this corner. Oh, teammate going for a lunge. Because of that, compromised my exit though. Oh my God, we're way off the pace for the quickest lap of this race. Again. 
Robin is racing. I'm going to protect this inside line on this corner if I can. Power map of three. Ayumi Sasaki in front of me. Didn't get a very good jump off of that corner. Switch down to power map of three. Ayumi Sasaki decided to just try and run into the back of me there. Get that front end down. We didn't get as much as a wheelie as the rider in front of us. We're going to go up to 10th place in the final lap. Fastest lap of the race. Let's hope for another clean lap. Oh, that's a different line. Okay, can we make any inroads in ninth place? Not gonna lie, I'll be quite happy actually with a 10th place finish. Considering we started from the back of the grid and we haven't really done many uh, many laps around this circuit on this on this game. Obviously I've done laps around this circuit in the previous games. Just not this uh, this latest edition. Corner, use a bit of power map in three. Double A Minos not getting a very good run off of that line. Double A Minos making a bit of a lunge on Messia there. Oh, Messia going a bit wide. Me not wanting to hit him. Got the run out of that corner. Please, no one behind me doing anything stupid. I say no one behind me. We nearly made it. Well, I made up a couple of spaces on that last corner. We've got power map in three, I'm going to try and use it. I don't think we overtook any of those three riders that were next to us, but that was a... Well, we wait for the director to take Whoa, the sixth place in the end there, wow. Let's take a quick look at that, was, uh, of this Moto that was a very eventful last lap, shall we say. Sixth place, less than a second in the end, off of the, uh, off of the winner of the Grand Prix. So if we hadn't got tangled up in quite a few of those... Uh, quite a few of those accidents or issues with other drivers. We uh, we could have been quite good there, but uh, yeah, sixth place after not qualifying. Still quite a positive a positive weekend. Obviously, we've got the rider championship and the team championship sewed up for our teams. So we get five thousand six hundred reputation. Uh, we get four thousand three hundred and fifty credits. I am going to advance to the final week. There it is. So we now have all of our developments complete, which is pretty cool. We have a different contract. Uh, no, reject that. Sorry, but, uh, but no thank you. We have our, uh, our manager already, and we are looking to go to Valencia for our next race, and obviously the last race of the season which will be our next video. We are already Moto3 champion. Our team is already the champions of Moto3 as well. So we bring home the team championship at the end of the season. Uh, we've got sixth in Malaysia, a race track that I haven't really done many laps around on this game. Valencia, done a few more laps around there. So with a bit of luck, uh, with a bit of luck, we can come through the field as well in Valencia. A few more um, easier sort of overtaken opportunities a lot of the uh, overtaken opportunities you get in Malaysia are a bit risky. Very easy to lose the uh, lose the front end and stuff like that. So you have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, but we still came through the field. We had a little bit of a dodgy exit out of the 
the second to last straight coming across those curves there and put us off slightly. Luckily, we managed to get back into behind of uh, Jal Messia and use him to pull us up to the uh, lights of Yamanaka. And a lot of battle in there in that final corner, which meant we were, uh, we were able to nick a couple of extra places. I think we come into that corner in like ninth. We finished in sixth, so uh, quite good. Um, but yeah, like I say, Valencia's our next race, which will be our next Grand Prix. So uh, I'll see you in Valencia. Thank you for watching, everybody. Unfortunately, that is all we've got time for today. That was our MotoGP uh, free season for Malaysian Grand Prix. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my content if you haven't subscribed already. If you do subscribe, thank you so much for subscribing and helping to support me and my channel. Don't forget to press the bell so you don't miss any of my videos as they drop onto the channel and you get notified when they do. So, that is it. We are done our Malaysian, our second to last race of the Moto3 season. Uh, a sixth place after not qualifying 31st. A very difficult, uh, very difficult racetrack. Uh, very easy to, uh, very easy to crash. So you have to be a little bit more careful. Um, AI takes some pretty wild lines as well compared to where the sort of, or where my sort of best racing line is. Um, the long sweeping corners obviously a little bit more uh, beneficial. They like to take a little bit of a tighter line through some corners, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we had a bit of a, a very interesting last lap there, so we made some decent positions up. We go towards uh, Valencia for our final race of the season, a track that we've done some fair few laps on uh, when we first played the game, so hopefully we can get a better result there. But Valencia is our next Grand Prix, so I shall see you all in that next video.